Hi there! Here I'm going to show you how to export the character from Daz into Cascadeur to animate it and then to bring that animation back into Daz. Step 1. Preparing the Daz character. So first, I need to pick the character. Right now, Cascadeur works best with Genesis 8 models. The support for Genesis 2 and 3 models, as well as some other features, will be added in the nearest future. Now I've selected the Genesis 8 female. If your character wears heels, make sure that their feet are aligned properly against the ground. The feet have to be placed flat along the floor. So once you put on the heels, they should look natural. You may have to adjust the rotation of the feet or raise the character. But whatever you do, make sure that the pose remains symmetrical. Step 2. Export from Daz. Now when you have to export the character, go to File, Export. And simply select the folder where you want the file to be saved. You can export in both FBX and Collider format. Then it's crucial to correctly set the export settings. In Figures, enable Merge Followers into Target. This will prevent it having additional join hierarchies. Right now, Cascader does not support embedded textures, so you might as well turn them off to decrease the file size. In Objects, Include Figures should be enabled. In Properties, Rotation Limits and Rotation Logs should be disabled. Now accept and export the character. Step 3. Import the character to Cascadeur. So when in Cascadeur, create a new scene, go to File, Import FBX DAE Model and select the file we've just exported. Once imported, it suggests to go into Rig Mode. Since it's Genesis 8, it's supported by Cascadeur, thus the character has been fully recognised. And you can see that because all the points on the schematics are blue. Now you only have to press Add Rig Elements and you will see the controllers appear in the viewport. And the rigging is done. Now you can move on to animating this character. Click Generate Rig to complete the rigging process. If you prefer to work in the point controller mode, you may want to further adjust the position of some of its controllers, for the convenience sake really. By default, the rotation controllers of the body are created too close to the corresponding joints. To change that, go back into the rig mode. Then select the rotation controllers and then simply move them further away. Get back into the animation mode and now the character is fully ready to be animated. Step 4. Adding the animation. Once the rig is ready, you can then move on to creating or editing the animation. You can create the animation from scratch or you can import the existing one. To do that, go to File, Import FBX DAE Animation. As you can see, the animation has been applied to the character. I can leave it as it is or edit it using Cascadeur animation tools. Clearly, this animation was not made for characters wearing heels, so the feet look very awkward. There's a simple trick to quickly fix it. We're simply going to use Auto-Posing tool. But if you just activate Auto-Posing here, the whole pose will be reset, because Auto-Posing changes the position of all inactive points. So I will select all the points except for the points of the feet and press Shift-Z. Thus, we preserve the position of all the points except for the points of the feet, the position of which has been updated. However, the changes have been applied to a single frame only. To change it in multiple keyframes at once, use Interval Edit Mode. OK. I can definitely further edit this animation. For example, here the legs just go through one another. You can find more information on working with mocap and other animation tools on our website. 
So now I have the animation that is ready to be exported. But before we do that, I'd like to tell you about the compatibility issues you might face when working with Genesis 8.1 animations. So Genesis 8.1 may have the same joint naming as Genesis 8. However, you may get this error when trying to use Genesis 8 animation on Genesis 8.1. So let's open this animation in a new scene. The thing is, only one joint has a different name, this one. So you can just rename the joints and resave the file. Or you can copy the joint animation. To do that, you have to select all the joints except for that root one. Select the interval and go to Edit Copy Interval. Then go back to the scene with your character, select the same joints and the frames on the timeline, go to Edit Paste Interval. Step 5. Export the animation to DAZ. First thing to do is to select all the frames of the animation you wish to export. Go to Commands, Export to DAZ. This method only works if the character has all the rig elements generated. Had we not gone through the rigging process in the first place, we won't be able to use this method. Also, this would only work in the Pro version of Cascader. Now, back in DAZ, open a new scene, go to File, Import and select the animation we've just exported. Make sure that in the Import settings, the Import Animation is enabled and select the animation in the drop-down list. Import Rotation Limits should be turned off. And go ahead and accept. And now the animation has appeared in the viewport. That's only the animation itself without the mesh. In order to apply it to your character, you have to save it in a different format. Go to File, Save As, Pose Preset. Double check that all the frames of the animation are included. Once saved, the animation will appear in your DAZ library. So here's the scene with my character. Now let's apply the animation that we've just created. Now be careful, you will have to use the script in order for the animation to work correctly. You can find the link to the script in the description below. So apply the script first and then the animation itself. And there you have it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.